Magandang araw mga classmate. Ang pag-uusapan natin sa araw na ito ay ang tinatawag na geometric sequence. Pero bago ang lahat, alamin muna natin ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng geometric sequence. As defined, geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the same constant. So kung babalikan natin ang ating mga naging huling lesson about arithmetic sequence, meron na naman tayong na-encounter na constant term. But unlike in arithmetic sequence, tinatawag natin itong common difference. Sa usapin ng geometric sequence, etong common term ay tatawagin nating common ratio. So ano ba ang common ratio at paano ito pwedeng makuha? So i-consider natin ang sequence na 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on. In this case, we're going to uh, use small letter R to denote the word common ratio. So paano malalaman ang common ratio ng isang geometric sequence? So simple lang. So, pwede nating i-divide ang dalawang magkasunod na number by its preceding term. So, let's use 3 and 9. So, in this case, we're going to divide 9 by its preceding term, which is 3. So, 9 divided by 3, so the answer is 3. Meaning, the geometric sequence 3, 9, 27, and 81, and so on, has a common ratio of 3. So, let us consider another sequence. We have 2, 10, 50, 250, and so on. Question, mga classmate. Pwede bang gumamit tayo ng ibang magkasunod na number maliban sa first at second term? So, in that case, pwede naman yung mangyari, mga classmate. So, pwede natin gamitin, in this case, ang 50 at 10. So, 50 di divide natin sa 10 dahil ang 10 ang kanyang preceding term. So, 50 divided by 10, so obviously the answer is 5. Same as when we divide 10 by 2. Still, we will get positive 5. Okay, so let us have our last example. 64, 32, 16, and 8. So if you will notice, unlike our first two examples, ang ating sequence ay decreasing. Isang tip mga classmate, kapag nakita natin na ang sequence ay decreasing, kapag siya ay binubuo ng positive integers, so ang ating magiging common ratio ay isang rational number or fraction. So, let's have or let us use 32 over 64. So, to simplify the fraction, we must look for its least common multiple. So, ano ang kanyang LCM? And that is 32. So, 32 divided by 32 is 1. 64 divided by 32 is 2. So, ibig sabihin, Ang geometric sequence na 64, 32, 16, 8, and so on ay merong common ratio na 1 half. So paano naman natin pwedeng gamitin o isolve ang mga problem na may kinalaman sa geometric sequence? Katulad nitong ating given, we have 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on. Let's say we're asked to find the 8th term. So, katulad ng arithmetic sequence, pwede rin natin isolve ang n term ng isang geometric sequence sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng formula na a sub n equals a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. Okay, so let's try to solve our first example. Let's say... We're going to look for the 8th term. 
So we'll have a sub 8, our n is 8, considering na ang hinahanap nating term ay pang 8. At from the given, ang ating first term ay 3. So kung babalikan natin yung ating uh, previous slide, so ang ating common ratio ay positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay imumultiply natin sa positive 3 raised to 8 minus 1. Okay, so ituloy natin. We have 3. Let us first simplify 3 raised to 8 minus 1. So this will become 3 raised to 7. Simplify pa natin, 3 raised to 7 is equal to 2,187. And then for our final answer, multiply lang natin yung 3 at 2,187. Ang sagot ay 6,561. So ibig sabihin, geometric sequence na 3, 9, 27, 81 and so on, ang kanyang pangwalong term ay 6,561. Subukan pa natin isolve ang pangalawa nating example. So, in this case, katulad ng nauna, we have A sub 9 or uh, the 9th term of the geometric sequence is equal to our first term which is 2 times our common ratio, in this case, our common ratio is 5 raised to 9 minus 1. So, simplify natin. We have 2 times 5 raised to 8. So, ano ang 5 raised to 8? So, that is equivalent to 390,625. Last step, divide, ay sorry, multiply 2 and 390,625. So, our final answer is 781,250. So, ang ating uh, pang na term mula sa geometric sequence na 2, 10, 50, 250, and so on ay equal sa 781,250. Okay. Subukan natin ang panghuling example. So, in this case, ito yung example natin kanina kung saan ang kanyang common ratio ay isang rational number. So, subukan natin isolve. We have a sub 10 Dahil lang hahanapin natin ay ang 10th term ng sequence. First term natin is 64 times 1 half. So in this case, 1 half will be raised to 10 minus 1. Simplify natin, 64 10 minus 1 is 9, so we're going to distribute 9 to the numerator as well as in the denominator. So this will become 1 raised to 9 all over 2 raised to 9. Simplify pa natin, we have 64 times 1 raised to 9, still the answer is 1. 2 raised to 9 is equal to 512. So, in this point, pwede na nating uh, i-simplify or i-cancel considering na ang 64 at 500, uh, 512, ang kanilang LCM ay 64. So, when we cancel 64,
Pag na-cancel natin yung 64, Sixty four divided by sixty four is one. So five hundred twelve divided by sixty four we have eight. So in this case ang ating uh, pang ten term is one over eight. Okay, that's it.